I talk about how it's been a while, but you guys already know that. So, my latest gaming endeavor is this thing right here. Uh, Crash Insanity. And, uh, you know, pun intended, of course, we got the uh, Insane Collection. Or, um, what was this thing actually called? Driving me insane, I'll say that. Insane Trilogy. And it's yet to be seen if the entire trilogy will drive me nuts. But this first game is driving me up a fucking wall. Because I've never beat it, and I don't want a time trial, so I'm going to have to restart. Um, but... Can, can I just restart? Or I just won't get the clock right. So, here's the thing. This game is pretty much exactly as you remember it, for better or for worse. For better because it's a classic, for worse because it hasn't really been as well. Um, a lot of this has kind of been covered in a lot of various reviews that I've seen of the game, and it's admittedly giving it minus points because it's not designed well. And for that, I say there's some point to that, like I get it. I didn't personally care about that when this came out, because I thought when it came out it was pretty great. Uh, as opposed to now, I still think it's fun, at least, but there's definitely points where it gets super frustrating, and I think one is coming up. It was on this level. I'm playing this level intentionally, because I want to show off the bullshit with this game. See, there's jump number one, number two we're not going to jump. Number three, here's where this game is some bullshit. Watch, I'm trying to jump over this, right? Can't do it. Okay, cool, so I died, right? So we're gonna try it again. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Well, not the exact same thing, because doing the same thing and expecting different results, that's the definition of insanity. So let's try something different. Let's go on the opposite side and try to make the same jump. I'll even do that with this part. If you don't jump there, this is the one we're gonna try to jump. Let's jump a little later. Oh wow, go figure. I don't know. And of course, now I screw up on that. All right, but let, let's try it again. Let's try it again. I'm really trying to duplicate a situation that I dealt with the first time I did this. And show off that this game sometimes isn't exactly friendly. It might be just me, but I feel like there's a slightly different timing to the jumps in this game. Feel like I, I don't know how I died there because like I jumped when I I was supposed to jump. I don't know. Maybe I just suck. You know, it's, it's quite possible someone runs into this and is like, hey, you just suck. Well, you know what? You might be right. But anyway, point is, sometimes the camera angles aren't great, which you know, there are a lot of games that could see like what happened. Like why why didn't I jump that? It, it, it just figures, though. I, I did it right the second time. I did this, I went through almost all of my lives trying to do this, and I had double-digit lives when I got here. Up until this point, I was doing just fine. But the whole thing of it is, is that... Alright, maybe that was a little too late. The whole thing of it is, is that you play this game, and you realize that... Your deaths aren't necessarily your fault. You get some weird-ass camera angles and nonsense from, I guess, the game's attempt at, like, cheating. And it doesn't quite hit the mark. Thus resulting in cheap deaths. You see this a lot in levels that shift from 2D to 3D. Like, there's another level. It's a temple level. If, if I actually end up passing this before I finish, like, my rant, I'll show off that level, too. But that would, of course, require passing this one, which I would have done had I not got distracted by the fact... Oh, wait, look, there we go. All right, we got this. All right, now let's see if I can remember the other level. You missed two boxes. Well, I really don't give a shit. How about that? I like how the remaster tells you how much you suck. It's like, hey, you didn't get everything, so you're garbage and you need to do the level again. 
Of course, in Crash 1, I really don't care. Crash 1, for whatever reason, is just that much more unforgiving than the other two. But I decided to start with this one because, unlike the original, this has a autosave slash manual save. Instead of when you get a game over, you losing all your lives, of course, that's the game over. But then you have to start the entire world all over again. So all the levels you did before the boss, if they're really hard, and you screwed up somewhere along the way, well, tough shit. You gotta do it all over again. You know, another, another level that's bullshit, this level's bullshit. Um, I might show that one off too. Now I really am just kind of ranting at this point, but it's been a while, so, uh, why the fuck not? Alright, the, the level I'm talking about was before this, that's where I am now, heavy machine. Uh, Boulder Dash, Road to Nowhere, that's a bullshit level. Temple Ruins, no, that's not it. Lost City, it might be the Lost City. I feel like it's the Lost City. Let's go here. Got nothing to lose but time, right? Funny enough, the webcam thing is pointed. I have, it in, I have myself in the top right, so it's covering the clock. So, just mentioning time, kind of ironic. Uh, this is not the right level, so I'm going to exit. Wait. It's cool that they give you something to look at during these loading screens, but they're kind of annoying. Like, we're past the PS1 era. Why, is that, why do I have to wait that long for it to load? Too early. You can also play as Coco in any of the parts and do this whole swap hero thing. Although it's purely cosmetic, so it's kind of pointless. No, oh, maybe this was it. Sunset Vista. I don't even know at this point. Anyway, I'm just going to go with these next three and prove a few points. Because here's the thing. Crash is fun, right? But the game itself is, especially when you compare it, even to stuff like in its generation, when you compare it to other games of its type, it's really just... I get the appeal behind Crash, but it's just not designed well. Like, take a look. There's this one, right? Your jumps, they have to be very, very precise. And and this is more difficulty than design. I'll, I'll show off some of my points in regards to that in different levels. But here, right? You gotta be... You gotta land perfect. Unless you're on these wooden... Your wooden... Uh... Bases... You're fucked. Because they're either timed or they break instant. The one that's snapped in the middle already... Don't jump on that. You'll fall. You jump on the one right here that's a darker brown, which I didn't do, uh, it's timed, and it'll eventually fall. Great wonderful. Sounds simple enough, right? It, it's really not. So, and it gets worse, too. I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of breeze through it, or try to. Whoa! You end up hearing that a lot. I do. I'm gonna lose all these lives that I saved. Maybe I just won't save anything I do. I think that's a good idea. Anyway, there was a point where I was doing these beginning parts like there was nothing, because I kept doing them over and over. So then you got this asshole, who you can't kill, except I did, because I have invincibility. That's the only one I can kill. You can't actually kill him. So when he goes towards you, it's just another problem. So you have ice, you have pla solid platforms, and then you have platforms that are timed, and then you have other platforms that break. You have to memorize all this while doing this weird, kind of, sort of, floaty jump with a tad bit of Mario foot when you land. So, if, unless you're quite precise, it's very easy to screw something like this up. But the angles just border on weird and or not done well. 
And you see that in uh, some levels, like when you're getting chased Indiana Jones style from the boulders, like those levels in Crash. I'm sure anyone that has played this before knows exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna show it off in a little. Whoa! I'm gonna show it off in a little bit. Um, I, I think you guys get the idea with this level. The whole thing with this is just it just gets worse. Like yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't fucking care. Um, I'm gonna try to. Damn it! I'm gonna try to go a little further. Just to show how much more ridiculous this gets, because it sure as hell doesn't get easier. I keep doing that. Like, I, I, I said what to do, and, like, I'm fucking up. My urge to, uh, want to go fast, and you can't. Luckily, there's a decent amount of checkpoints, but... It only means so much when you're doing the same parts over and over again. The remaster itself, it's very true to the original, which I like. You know, I, I don't, I haven't gone anywhere in this game. It's like, man, this doesn't feel right. It feels exactly right to a fault because, again, like years later. It just gets annoying. It can definitely... It's a trilogy that can quite literally drag you into pain. I've said that multiple times, but... Just, 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 just watch. Like, it's... Damn it! See? This is, uh... This is some shit. See, that, that was that little bit of Mario foot right there. Because I thought I was good, I slipped a little bit. It's not because I fucking held the controller, no. It's because the motherfucker actually slipped off. Like, I don't understand why... It's kind of funny, because... Mario has it, Crash has it, Sonic has it, Mega Man... On the other hand, maybe that's why I like Mega Man so much more than, like, these games. I'm not gonna bother with this. You, you get the idea. Because you add ice platforms to it, too. And then towards the end, you also get the, uh... The Bulldog, or... Dog, Pig, whatever the fuck it is that you can't actually kill that I referenced earlier. He comes at you also. Like, it's just it's one thing after another. Alright, so this next one, Boulder Dash. This is probably a, a level where... You get chased by a boulder, Indiana Jones style, and unless you know exactly what's going to go on, which is the only reason I do as semi-well as I do, you're going to die, like, a lot, just due to trial and error bullshit. Like, if you're trying this for the first time, it's very easy for somebody to get frustrated. You don't know what's coming. Like, you're just running towards the screen, and you can just be easily suspect to a, a pitfall, because you just legitimately don't know where it is. Either that, or you take it so slow and go slow, and as a result, you kind of... I'm not making an attempt to get all the time. Um, as a result, you end up falling. It gets even worse when you have platforms like that that are moving while you're trying to do it. And for as open as this may seem... The game's actually quite linear. You only have so many levels that break off into, like, two paths. You'll get, like, a fork in the road in certain levels. That's about it. Otherwise, the game's actually pretty damn linear. But it's cleaned up quite a bit from the PS1 era. It's nice to see it faithfully recreated and not messed with. Even if that does mean... The exact same flaws still exist. It's uh, it's something I can respect. The forty dollar price point is a bit much. I think thirty would have been more okay, especially for a game that's three generations old. But what are you gonna do? There's certainly been worse out there. So, I mean, I'm okay with it. I got it digitally, so I got some themes as well. Not a bad deal. 
See, this, this seriously isn't necessary. I understand they had to touch up all the games and all, but we did not need to keep the loading times of the PS1 I'm there. Let me set up. Sunset Vista. Is this the level I was talking about? Because it's going to happen. This is where this is where the angles, the camera angles are like... They're fixed camera angles. So, like, you can't switch... You can't rotate the camera. This isn't the level. Damn it. Yeah. I really want to find the level I'm talking about. This is one of those weird 2D... I forget if this goes 3D at some point. It might. I forget. Either way, this isn't the level I really wanted to show off. Um, I can't equip this one. There we go. It determines when quit appears. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I really want to find this. I really want to find this so I can show it off. The level's a perfect example of what I'm trying to talk about. Where I am. Far. Not here. Just did that. That. Couple of ruins? I thought this wasn't it, but it's gotta be. Everywhere else is too far back. In fact, this is probably it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Alright, so this is some bullshit, right? Because it's that's not why. That was just me being dumb. Alright, so 2D slash 3D. So here we go. This is how this kind of goes. It's 3D because I clearly went up the screen there, right? But then it's 2D because you got a side scroll. So let's go ahead and try to do that, you know? Let's go ahead and jump along here. Those platforms fall, so it is what it is. Throw the fucking snake, hit some boxes, swing away at some lumber through because I'm just good like that. You really can't see what's going on, but you have to react quick for those things to go away. That's going to be a TNT that blows up to my face if I don't fucking move. That will fall if I don't jump off quick enough. We got the checkpoint. We're going to kill the snake. We're going to kill some boxes. Watch out for the spears that come out bit by bit. Jump over here. We're going to jump over here. We're going to jump to the next one also. So, you know, just moving along. Everything's smooth so far. And now you're going up the screen after you're just going up the right. Not so bad, right? These things try to crush you, not so bad. Here, for the person that doesn't know any better, you just kind of keep your forward motion, and you'll just fall right here, like a trial and error rule. can't really see it, because either the bats will be coming at the same time, or worrying about not being crushed here. It, you might think this is like a complaint, and it kind of is, or like a complaint doing this dude sucking up the game. And, you know, that's not, like, 100% the case, it's just, it's poor design. Like, you can't, you can't move this camera, you know? It, you're stuck. And this is something that even happened in PS2 with, uh, games like Devil May Cry, which I really like, but it does also suffer from fixed camera angles. Provided this is an entire generation back, but with the remaster, and clearly things being touched up, like, you would think that's something that they would go back and fix to make the game modern. See, like, you have to be very precise about what you do. Because sometimes your jump will just overshoot things. It's... Every platform kind of has its own idea of what your distance needs to be for jumps and that. Like, say, like, right there. I just kept my forward motion on. And provided, you do go a little faster when you're invincible. So, that's kind of what made me run off the edge there, but that's case in point from before. I just did that again, so now I have more speed again. I don't know why I did that to myself. Fuck it. See, that... See, like, I forgot that was gonna fall there. So... That's one of those things you can't turn back. I see I didn't jump far enough there. Sometimes you second guess yourself, but by the time you do that, you're dead. I want to go a little further in this level, like slightly further, to show off a part that I suffered with a lot. I, damn it, all right. Now I have to backtrack a little bit because I used that platform unintentionally. And 
doesn't come back, well, okay, there it goes. You don't have to actually go back. I guess it just does come back eventually. So see, you have to make sure that that platform there is coming down and you can reach it. Um, not like that. Now this motherfucker isn't even in the first game, but you know, he shows up. I guess they just assume you've played it. Um, <laughs> guy doesn't appear until Crash 3. But it gets worse. It gets worse. Uh, I'm gonna try to show it off without making this video take too long. I'm probably like at around, I don't know, the 10 minute mark, probably past that. That's kind of how I plan for these videos to be like shorter than what they actually are, and then they turn out longer. Kind of how it goes. I mean, there's the benefit of me being terrible that you get to watch in the process. Of course, now I'm trying to be a boss at it because I've kind of done this already. So it's not the worst thing in the world, but when you compare it to like modern stuff now, New fans trying to get into this, they might get easily frustrated because the design itself, like the core design and mechanics of the game, have not changed. Because of that, it's very dated. And you could say the same thing for classics like you know, Mario 64, except, except Crash, with that also being a thing. Obviously, it wasn't as well received. Come the fuck on, dude. See, this is shit that makes me mad. See, like, I want to do a diagonal jump to try to be fancy there, but I overshot it. it it's very easy to do that. I'm really trying to show off not that much further from here, but I suck. Keep that in mind. I have to do this a third time. Hopefully not. Alright. So I'm gonna skip those boxes there because I don't care. Right? So here we are. We were just walking up the screen, now we're gonna side scroll. So let, let's go ahead and side scroll here, do our jumps, and not make it, because I didn't jump far enough. I need to be on the exact edge. And actually what's frustrating about the design of this game, and that's in a level that I'm probably not gonna show off because it's like I said, this is taking longer. But um Sometimes you can land directly in the middle of something, but because you weren't on the exact, I guess, like, pixel of a spot, you'll literally fall, like, right through the platform. And that's more present in Crash 2 and Crash 3, and I'm sure I'll notice it again, even though those games are more fun to me. Uh, there will definitely be some cheap deaths. There are other levels in, uh, I think it's Crash 3, where they're race levels, like... You have to be on a motorcycle and shit, and unless you get first place, you cannot beat the level. Like, you can't, you can't proceed just because you didn't get first place. Like, that's the way you're stuck there. Like, if for some reason you're a shitty driver, well, then fuck you. You're not going anywhere. Even in Mario Kart, you get some slack with it. You get last place a few times. If you have enough points by the end, you can still end up first. And that's kind of an unfair, unfair comparison because... You get four races in a cup, and you get a single race in this. But that's literally how you pass the level, so it's kind of... It's kind of bullshit, thinking about it now. Yeah, I accepted it for what it was back then, but now it's just one of those things. Like, why was they doing this? Why is second or third? It's still silver and bronze. That doesn't count for anything. At least I tried. See, and that, that, provided that was in my favor, but I literally jumped in the fire there. So, like, why didn't I take a hit? And I could have afforded the hit, because I have a mask. Oh, this game does funny things. But hey, it's true to, true to, true to the original. So, I guess that's the more important. Whoa! 
Holy bat shit. That is Crash Bandicoot being pancaked. See, like, there, it pushed me back instead of crushing me. Fucking get it, man. In a way, I hope John is watching this so I can, uh... I'm, I'm kind of like trashing Sony's mascot here. Like, going back to these games years later. Okay, so here we go. This part is some bullshit, right? Because the person who doesn't know any better, it's like, hey, okay, this game's got me on a, a side-scrolling path now, right? Even though I just walked up the screen, now I'm doing side-scrolling. So I'm going to jump to one of these bullshit platforms here. Then I'm going to try to jump to the middle. And now what? You could jump there and keep going, but that'll kill you. So you have to jump towards the Wumper Fruit. You may think that's obvious and super easy, but you got time to jump right. You know, it's a cheap death and you gotta do that shit all over again. That isn't much different from like old school games and whatnot, but by old school I mean like NES, SNES, that type of shit. But it's not even because you suck, it's because the camera angles are just weird and they're hard to adjust to. So, again, a part where you don't know any better, right? Like more trial and error bullshit, okay, on top of the weird camera angles. So, that platform drops. So, unless you time this right, you could fall right there and or get burned. Here's another part. Look at these things, okay? You gotta jump across them, great, wonderful. You gotta judge the distance right because it's this weird 3D type shit. So, and sometimes the platforms fall, right? Cool, wonderful. So we did all that properly. These things go up and down. So we're gonna try to jump across them, make the right distance so we don't fucking fall. Great, jumping through all this crap. I almost missed that jump right there. Here's this thing telling you, hey, the end is near. So you gotta run past these things like you did already. I got hit there, so whatever. I'm gonna take it for what it is because I could afford a free hit right there because of the mask. There's actually two of these, which I'm gonna wait for. And there's the end right there. You got your forward motion going on because there's so much stuff. You're trying to avoid this, and you're also trying to avoid the bats that come from time to time, which you can possibly jump into by accident. But I did the very first time I did this, and the second time with the remaster, is I kept running forward, and you can see there's a hole right there. You don't jump, and you can't see it right. There's not a lot of space to look at it. Your character covers up a good portion of that space. Like, if you happen to be too, too far to the left or right, you can easily miss it and then just fall and have to do this bullshit part again. And I say bullshit part because of the weird camera angles you have to deal with while going across. Again, it, it sounds like complaining, but it, is it really complaining or more the fact that this could have been designed better? With I guess I'll let you guys be the judge of that. It's one of those things, Crash is still fun, it's just... Back then it was frustrating because I couldn't pass it. Now it's frustrating for a very different reason. Because it actually seems like it is poorly designed. It, it, it's... Again, you, you look at reviews and people are already touching on this. But I kind of just wanted to come at it from a personal perspective and also offer a visual that the reviews may or may not be. Um, other than that, I just wanted to put something out because it's been fucking forever. But I'm not going to... I'm talking about that, because then I'll sound like a bunch of other videos where I took a big... And the cool part about that is since it's on the VGHC channel, I don't feel this personal pressure about it either. But because it's been so long, I might put something out again not too long from now on a different channel. So, that's all I got. Um, 40 bucks might be a bit too much, but eh, whatever. Uh, I'll take it versus something like... Uh, I think of like a bad remaster. It came out recently. I've probably talked about it somewhere or another. That and remasters are so much of a thing now. Anyway, I I'm sure you've got examples. Anyway, um, I'm not done with coming up with stuff. We'll be back with something else hopefully soon. Take care, guys.